Welcome back to this week's vlog. It is Friday and it is Connor's birthday. So I thought I would bring you along for the day. Um, I feel like the worst wife ever. I got up last night after he went to sleep to wrap his gifts and set up the balloons only to realize that I had no sellotape. And I spent about an hour searching the house for, yeah, it's very funny, isn't it? Um, searching the house for the sellotape, which I only used like a few weeks ago, so I have no idea where it's gone. Um, and of course, in my head was like blaming Connor, even though he's probably never even touched sellotape. Um, so anyway, I am now going to try to get him down for a nap, set up the living room for when Connor gets home from work. Um, I had a few balloons set up this morning for when he got up, because um, he always gets up first. Um, but I still felt bad that like he didn't have his presents wrapped or a card or anything So I've now gone overboard and spent like 50 euro on balloons So I am going to set that up. I will show you how I set up the living room and Yeah, it's gonna be a quiet birthday because we have no babysitter um, and also he's far too small To leave behind so we're just going to enjoy Connor's first birthday as a dad um, And yeah super excited to do it as a family. So I'll bring you along for the day are you excited that his birthday? Are you? Yeah. Are you excited? Mm. Are we gonna make it really special? Yeah. Did you get Daddy a balloon? Will we show them the balloon? Will we show them the balloon? Mm. Are you That's Daddy in the galaxy. I'm so excited about this. We also have another surprise, don't we, from you. And it's arriving at three o'clock. And you just have to wait and see what it is. You don't even know, Abe. You don't even know what it is, do you? So he's actually just messaged to say he'll be back in like an hour, which, shit. Um, so these are a few things I got. I got little party hats for when we go out later. Um, I got ice cream bunting because ice cream is his favourite. The only card I could get is this, so I'm going to have to fill this up, which is no problem because I always write essays. Unfortunately, I couldn't get cell tape, so this is going to be his birthday presents all in this bag. Um, I might just put a bow on it or something, but I got him this gorgeous denim jacket that he wanted from American Vintage. So, I won't open it too much, but it has this like corduroy, corduroy collar on it. It's so nice. I will be borrowing that. And then I just got him little bits. I got him his favorite granola and his favorite chocolate. And I also got him a cost shirt, which I always get him a top because um, he never shops for himself. Um, but that hasn't arrived yet, unfortunately. So anyway, let's get the show on the road. <laughs> usually write out what I'm gonna say in before I write in the card because I always make mistakes and yeah I prefer typing on my phone I don't know why it is but I don't have time to do that so I'm just gonna have to write straight into the card and hope for the best wish me luck Enjoy your nap. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> Did you have a good sleep? Look at those musclies. Yeah, you did. Just look at the old tank top. Yeah. <coughs> Are you happy to wake up for your daddy's birthday? Are we going to celebrate your daddy's birthday? Are we? <laughs> oh, I think you've got the tab. Have you mm. made that sunshine? Oh, look at him, the best. Oh, this is a good man. This is a good man. So I've ordered Connor a cake. Um, and it is basically being delivered now, so I'm running downstairs even though he is at home. I've snuck out, going downstairs to collect it. I'm not sure when I'm going to give it to him, but probably before we go out. Happy birthday! Oh. Happy birthday to me! Happy Careful. birthday, dear daddy! This day last year, I collected Connor from work on his birthday and I gave him two options that we could go to the park, to this little kiosk for um, a drink, or I had brought beers with me and said we could go to the park, to another park, um, and sit outside for a little picnic. And he chose to go to this little kiosk place for a drink. So anyway, we did that and that day he decided he was gonna give up drink for a year, even though Neither of us really drink, I haven't really drank in like 10 years, but Connor hates being hung over, so he decided as a challenge he was going to give it up for a year. And he did. So we are now on our way back to that same kiosk for his first drink in a year. And I am super excited because I really have missed um, just having a drink together or a beer on a Friday, a glass of wine, just, um, I love just having one drink and I've missed doing that, especially when we live in Lisbon, where this outdoor drinking is the best. very much enjoyed those drinks and we're now going to do a bit of retail therapy and I feel like you should never go to the shops or to the grocery store hung or you should never go to the grocery store hungry and you should never do retail therapy slightly drunk <laughs> no. <laughs> oh God. I worry about my life with you Everything good. Today he's sleeping. Yeah, yeah, he's sleeping today. <laughs> Talk to yourself. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you guys. Bye. So we've had to get a out of the buggy because he keeps falling asleep. This is what we always have to resort to. Just carrying him. Um, we are walking home now and we are going to be putting Abe down, um, which always goes pretty seamlessly, and then order our takeaway, which I'm sure if you follow me on YouTube, you'll know what we're getting. 
it's my number one meal of all time. Our pizzas are here. Now, we order, and then we edit the order by calling because you can't do it on Uber. So what we do is we get the mushroom pizza, and then we add burrata. And I always have to eat my pizza watching something. So we're, of course, watching Love is Blind. Uh, holy Moses, this is literally the best pizza I've ever had. And we get two pizzas each, pepperoni, and then added induja. Holy Moses. I literally don't want my first pizza to end. The burrata. Mm -hmm. I'm so so good. Quality TV as well. If you don't watch it, I was blind. What the hell are you doing? Uh. <laughs> are you happy you married me? <laughs> Are you proud of me for finishing my pizza? Oh, that was so good. It was so good. I struggled toward the end. But. Now. Did you not? Room for your. Room for your cockamillish. 